Good evening folks. I'm going to do another video on pokeweed. Pokeweed is one of those that's very controversial, especially in the South. Um, people do eat it, but it is a highly toxic plant. You can look this up. You can look up the chemicals of this plant and you can read about it. See, here are the leaves up close and the first little clusters that will turn into purple berries. You see how tall this is? I'm going to back up some. Okay. Um, at one time in our history, people knew how to eat some of these plants that did have some toxins in them but did provide some benefit. The reason why people ate pokeweed was because it got rid of parasites and intestinal worms. Now this happened a lot back before, I guess you would say, the modern era when some people didn't have shoes, they walked barefoot, they didn't always have running water to wash their food with, and so people got parasites. This plant does get rid of that, but it has to be boiled, and that water poured off at least three different times. Now, if you're not doing that, you can be suffering effects that you're not even aware the pokeweed is causing. Now, if you only eat it every now and then, because the plant is actually only um, living during a certain part of the summer, it's, it's not gonna be extremely dangerous but you are risking health effects, bad health effects from eating the plant. Now, the tradition is that you eat the small leaves, the tender leaves, because the large leaves are, are tough and coarse. Now, the berries are absolutely toxic. The root is a tuber that almost looks like a sweet potato. But I'm, I'm about to cut this down uh, it's not, uh, I was able to dig up most of it out of my yard when I cleared out that fence row. And so, I did just want to show y'all, these things do get a monstrous size. And, of course, there's going to be people that disagree with me about it being a poisonous plant. But the chemical studies are out there. The historic evidence is out there. If you have been lucky enough to eat it and not have toxic effects, then congratulations. But when there are so many other greens, wild greens, that can be eaten, such as the broadleaf plantain or violets, or our wild lettuce, or uh, even limited amounts of yellow dock, nettles, henbit, uh, lamb's quarters. When you can eat other greens to get good nutrition, there is no reason to still be eating the pokeweed. And so, I wanted to bring that to you when I came out in my backyard and I saw that monstrous plant. Here's a here's a smaller one. Now when I was little my daddy ate poke salad. I hated it. But you would go out and you would only pull these few young tender leaves. You wouldn't even get any of the lower leaves. And mama would boil it and pour the water off. Boil it and pour the water off. Boil it and pour the water off. And then 
she would fry it in scrambled eggs with some ham sometimes but I did want to bring that to you because I felt like this is one of those things that is a cultural novelty and that it does need to go the way of we know better now when you know better you do better and so this is a brief little video about pokeweed and the fact that you really should not be eating it so until my next video have a good evening and god bless you